Hey everyone, Aria Labs here with a blog to watch. Please subscribe to our videos on YouTube and like this video if you find it useful. This is a review of the Beauvais Virtuoso 7. Uh, this is part of the Amadeo collection, so it has the Amadeo-style Amadeo convertible case, which is cool, and I'll show you in a minute. And this is the newest Virtuoso watch for 2015, and it's quite cool, and it's a limited edition of 50 pieces. It comes in this 18 karat white gold case, as well as a slightly different version in a red gold case uh, with black dials versus white dials. So, uh, the first thing you need to know about this watch, in addition to it being very interesting, is that it has two sides. So, you can wear this either way because there's a dial for the time on the back side and the front side. The reason I call this the back side is, it, is it's basically more or less meant to be the rear of the case. It has a flat, uh, flat sapphire crystal. Well, it's slightly rounded, but a slightly less uh, rounded sapphire crystal. Um, the top part has a more rounded sapphire crystal. That's because it's a little bit higher. Also, this side of the watch is where most of the complications exist, um, even though there are certain complications on the back of the watch that don't exist on the front. So that's probably the most interesting thing. Now, the Virtuoso is a line of movements. It's a family of movements um, that came out about two years ago, I think one or two years ago. Um, I think the most simple version of the Virtuoso movement is in the uh, Beauvais uh, recital 12 watch. That's their very, that's their ultra thin one. And so this is a slightly um, more advanced version of the Virtuoso and it has some complications built on top of it. So the basic movement, I'm actually going to start by taking this thing apart. Look at that strap just comes off. Other strap comes off. The basic movement has a power reserve of five days. It's manually wound. There is a power reserve indicator, which is right here to the left of the dial on the back. On the back, you also have um, a, a subsidiary seconds hand, and they call it a coaxial subsidiary seconds hand because it actually goes all the way through. So it's literally the same seconds hand you're seeing here at the bottom of the, fr of the fr front dial as well as on the back. They're simply just hands on either side, and that's cool. Now the dials for the time are interesting because they, 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 they're not on the same axis point. You can see here the dial is in the middle, whereas on the rear the dial is to the upper part of the case. And that's interesting as well in terms of the gearing, even though they do indicate the same time. So the back of the, of the case, and I'll just call it the back, even though you can wear it either way, has the time, power reserve indicator, um, as well as the subsidiary seconds dial, and there's a view of the escapement um, and the balance wheel there. Whereas on this side you have the time in the center, and then you have a perpetual calendar with a retrograde uh, date indicator. So another name for this watch is the uh, Beauvais Amadeo Fleurier Retrograde Perpetual Calendar Virtuoso 7. So let's talk for a second about how this perpetual calendar works. It's quite interesting. You have a semi-skeletonized dial. Here you have the day of the week. You can see it says Saturday. Here you have the month, you can see it says May. Over here is a leap year indicator, and then there's a retrograde dial for the date, which goes around the periphery of the time. Um, and of course, from here is one, here is 31, and then when it gets to 31, it just jumps back, and you can see the little hand right there. There are small correctors on the side of the case um, to change the perpetual calendar um, indicators if you want to, which is quite useful as well. And I'm just going to go ahead and wind the watch there a little bit. Uh, it, it, it's, fun, it's fun to operate it. Um, I like the layout of the perpetual calendar. It's, it's easy to see. In the video, it might not be the easiest thing to see because you have um, some of the color contrasting here and you have to look a little bit gently. But given the fact that this is what I call window style because it's it's there's a disc that indicates it and there's a small back plate there it's like a little window that that makes it relatively e easy to see but when you want to just look at the watch it's basically most of the time so you can actually enjoy the watch I'll say it that one what they call is a table clock on this little foot but what you can also do is turn it into a pocket watch so I have here the chain and the chain goes into the top right here stick that in and now you have a pocket watch which you can wear and it comes on this fancy little chain and this nice little um, hook right here which you can open up it's like a it's like a giant earring that'd be funny someone could wear it like an earring so that's the virtuoso 7 as a pocket watch 
So I guess there's multiple ways of wearing this. You can, and oh, and if you want to, you could also wear it like a pendant. I believe that Beauvais sells a, uh, a pendant style connection as well, if you want to do that. So I'm going to sort of show you what it's like to flip the watch around here. So you can wear it on this side. And then you just stick uh, stick the parts in there. It actually works really well. I've always been impressed um, by the Amadeo style case um, because of that. Now this strap, what I'm wearing, this is um, this is the the version that they sent me. So this is actually the, the, the fake alligator strap. And the reason they said that they have to send a fake one is because of U.S. Customs. Uh, they have something called CITES, and that makes it difficult to send things like alligator. Of course, the, the joke is that most alligator straps on watches are Louisiana alligator. So it's, it's from America, it goes to Europe, and then it has problems coming back to America, but that's an entirely different story. So this is this is the watch with the rear side. I actually find it quite becoming. I've always loved the Amadeo style, Amadeo style case, and I also like the sort of Beauvais aesthetic, what they have what's called the ribbon um, style crown guard. And you have the clean side of the case. It's not for everyone, but I think it's really, really cool. Now let me show you sort of how easy it is to turn the watch around to the other side. You know, I, I found that, that in speaking to people who own these watches, they tend to wear you know, basically just one side of the watch or, or, or use it in one version. But it's fun to sort of move things around a little bit. Um, I can see how people with this one would be switching it from side to side. That's something they would do. But I just don't see people using it as a pocket watch that much. I've actually asked a lot of Beauvais owners, like, hey, how, how often do you use your Amadeo case as a pocket watch? And they're like, not really that much. But um, I think this is very cool that you can change the size. So there it is on the retrograde perpetual calendar side of it, which I think is cool looking. You know, it, it, it of course has that Beauvais aesthetic, but it's it's useful, it's complicated, it, it, it's interesting. Um, again, you have five days of power reserve, operates at three hertz. I've just always found that this type of stuff is, is, is interesting and unique. And again, I keep saying interesting because there's a complicated combination of technically interesting, visually interesting, um, aesthetically interesting when it comes to the case, as well as design. You have elements of hand engraving in the movement. You have elements, like I said, of, of these, of these mod modern design, yet traditional. There's sort of a lot thrown in here, and some people might find it to be a little bit too much, but I like the variety a lot. If I was the type of person that that liked spending a lot of money on a watch but didn't want something that, that everyone else had, this is definitely the type of stuff that I would look at. Beauvais certainly excels in offering what I would call is an exclusive look, and that's something that I, that I highly appreciate. So again, this is the Beauvais Retrograde Perpetual Calendar Virtuoso 7. This is the white gold version, limited to 50 pieces, and the retail price is $82,800, and you can see the full review on the blog to watch soon. Thanks.